This is Hardik with ENM, and today I'm going to show you the Performance Insight Edge app for Unified Comfort Panels. You can go to the Siemens Industry Online Support site and just search for Performance Insight or use this ID number and get to this page and download this app. This app is currently free until I think March of next year. I think there is a date listed right here. So March 1, 2021, it is free to use. You can download the app and just install it. So the app and the files necessary are under this zip file, performanceinsight.zip. Uh, I have this already downloaded, so let me go to my TI portal. So here's my TI portal. Uh, I have a MTP700, which is a seven inch multi-touch unified panel. Uh, this is just one simple screen. Uh, and then I have six tags that we will be interested in. So let me go to my default tag table. Uh, and all I'm calling is level 1, 2, pressure 1, 2, temperature 1, 2. So let's say it's a tank and we got three variables, tank 1 and tank 2, level pressure and temperature. Uh, so I'm just going to remote into my panel. So here is my unified comfort panel. I can look at all my options. So all I did is network connection remote and I enable smart server. Uh, make sure you put in a password. If I go to the other options, the other important thing is date and time. So make sure you set the right date and time. And then if you click this icon, there is all these apps. So under Cymatic apps, you will see Cymatic Edge. Uh, all you need to do is just enable this checkbox. It does require a license, so make sure you buy the license, but you can activate this and scan it for a trial license. To verify if Edge is active, I usually go here and click on this. It will take me to a web page on the Chrome browser, which is built in on the panel. Uh, it takes me just to the local server of the device and then once you see this page that means edge is enabled uh, while it opens up let's go to our browser so right there edge management is there so let's say i can also do it from my pc because now i am connected to my laptop or my pc to the panel so i know the ip address of this device is 192.168.1.2 uh, and it doesn't like it so let's see http Yes, colon slash slash. There we go. It needs HTTPS. So I'm going to go and go to the web page. So it took me to the Edge device. Uh, so here is an important step username and password. So make sure under your TI portal, there's options under security and settings, users and roles. So make sure you create a username and password. And then let's go ahead and log in using that username and password. All right. So here is my edge management option. Uh, for now, it is offline. Uh, in the future, I think early next year or so, Siemens will have like an whole edge management, like an app store style, where you can have a central management for all your apps and all your devices. Uh, like I mentioned, I did download the files. So let's go ahead and click on install. Uh, you can put it on the memory card, but I have it on my laptop. So I'm just gonna go and browse for the files. I put it on my desktop. Uh, sorry, it's under my downloads. So here is my performance inside folder. Uh, and here are the two apps, so the app. So there's two things needed. One is the data service. So the data service takes the data from the HMI runtime side, brings it up to our edge uh, app side, and then performance inside is the actual app. So let's go ahead and click on data service first and click on install. Now it does take a few minutes uh, to install. So just bear with me. Uh, while it's doing this, let's go to our TI portal. Uh, let's look at our tag table. So I have just a bunch of tags. So we saw that already. Let me see my screen. So here's pretty nice. Uh, all the graphics and everything is nice. Uh, there is new object here, which is the chat box, which was not there on the comfort panel. Uh, it's right here. So all the tools are pre there uh, in the library. There's a bunch of animation objects and a lot of new stuff and improvements, right? So uh, here is my level one. Uh, so if I look at the properties under general process value tag, and that's where it shows right there, it's hiding, it's level one. So at times I'm doing stuff and moving things around. So I like this default window layout so that I, everything is defaulted and right there. So here is my level one tag. Here's my pressure one tag and temperature one. Let's go look at this, what it's doing. Oh. So right now it's installing. So let's go ahead and go here, browse and browse for the second file, which is our performance inside app. 
and click install so it's going to install both of these apps in the background for us so while we wait uh, let's look at different object properties so again level 2 pressure 2 uh, temperature 2 uh, here is just a clock byte that I'm getting from the PLC invert bit so to invert a bit if I go under events I kept it at release so when I release the click uh, I have the option to invert bit in tag now again this is an option that's built in and then I have this toggle tag one and then I'm gonna do what well because now it's a bit in the tag and not just a bit by itself so it's looking at the bit value so I know it's the first bit which is zero so that's that uh, I created just an alarm simulation so checkbox is also pretty nice so right here I have two objects uh, so selection item one so what is it so it's a tag right here it's alarm and then what type so I put in a range so 0 and 1 so when it's 1 I check it and when it's unchecked it's 0 so I can do a little simple checkbox style and the same option is there also for a radio button and now there is this new object which is touch area so it's for because the panels are multi-touch so you can add that and create a swipe up left right and zoom and pan and stuff like that let's go back uh, let's see here uh, one of them is almost installed uh, second one is at 75 percent so let's wait for it uh, while we wait let's look under the management so there are no apps running uh, under statistics so here is my unified panel here is the edge version memory option cpu so i'm running at 54 percent i'm almost at 80 percent of memory uh, it's got four gigs almost storage uh, another memory that's the ram uh, running apps so we have four left and total four are allowed when it installs both the apps uh, we will only have two left and four allowed is fine uh, install apps so we can have maximum six uh, let's look at the settings so here are some proxy settings if you have some proxy for your network here are the system settings, all the logs, and all the application development, all that stuff comes up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and wait for our app. This one is still at 83%. And I think this is still pending. Yeah, it's not installed yet. So like I said, it takes a while. Oh, so there we go. So one of them is installed. Uh, now, once this is installed, this one is going to start installing. So there we go. It turned blue. All right. So while it waits to install the second app, let's go ahead and look at this uh, data service app. So when I click that, it will take me to another page. So I think it should work and open something. Oh, there we go. Oh, again, the same security message. It's not secure. Let's go ahead and click on the web page. So this is what the data structure app looks like. So we need to map out all our IO and our tags. So right here it says there's no variables created yet. So let's go ahead and click on create first variable. And then it says choose an adapter, HMI runtime. Okay, that's interesting. Let's cancel it out. Uh, let's walk around a little bit more. Let's see right there. What is that? Oh, right there are the adapters. So this is an active adapter. So this is an open pipe. So the unified panels use something called open pipe. And then because it's the Siemens app, it's already linked to the HMI runtime. So it knows where the data is coming from. But you can create your own app and create your own custom pipe. Let's go ahead and create a first variable. So tag and name. This tag will be used in the tag definition. And then this is the name of the tag that is shown later in this application. Okay, so my guess is this is actual level one, which is the tag name on RTI portal. And we can call this whatever level one. Data type is integer and unit, let's say it's in inches. So add variable. Uh, let's make this smaller. Uh, let's go to our tag table so I can make sure I select the right ones and it's easier this way so I can add a tag level 2 and call it level 2 so this is the time consuming portion but once you have that you will see how easy it is to create stuff and different KPIs and a nice simple dashboard and how easy it is to configure all this stuff so I'm gonna call it pressure integer 
let's say it is PSI, I'm going to add another variable. So now it's going to be pressure 2. Let's say it's pressure. That's the name we will call inside our app. And let's call this also PSI. And then what do we have? We have temperature. So let's go ahead and add temperature. Temperature 1. Integer. Let's say it's degree Fahrenheit. Uh, let's I'll put capital F for it. We got temperature uh, 1. And next one is temperature 2 for tank 2. Temperature 2. Integer and degree Fahrenheit. Add variable. Oops, it's already in use. So I think I messed up a typo somewhere. So let's say temperature underscore 2. Temperature 2. Integer 16. There we go. All right. So we got all our level 1, level 2, pressure 1, 2, temperature 1, 2. So we got all our tags. There is another option for aspects here. So let's make this full screen. So it says no aspects created. Create a first aspect that is shown in the application and choose the variables for this aspect. So I know I'm calling it a tank. So let's say I'm going to call it a tank one. So for tank one, I want level one, pressure one, and temperature one. So that's the aspect for tank one. Uh, let's go ahead and add another aspect. So for tank two, I'm going to call it level two, pressure two, temperature two. Add aspect. So tank one, tank two. Okay. So this is done. So I created six tags and I created two aspects, tank one, tank two, and created three of each tags in it. Let's go back to our main edge management uh, page. And you can see this was also installed. 